Hello, I want to show you how to uh, do a cron job for um, in cPanel for Akiba backup. Um, I've already done a tutorial for Joomla Pack and now this is for the new Akiba. What we need to do in the first instance is go into the back end of our administration uh, site and go to site global configuration and make sure that we have enabled web services here in the system settings so make sure that yes is enabled once we've um, we've done that we can then um, go to our components Akiba backup and configuration once we're in into uh, Akiba, sorry, Akiba itself. We can then go to the parameters, click on parameters there, uh, make sure we've got use Google Ajax uh, API libraries uh, ticked, and enable front end remote backup, say yes there, put in your secret word, and if you want uh, to receive an email on backup of completion, again say yes with your email address. Okay, and then we can save that away. We then come to uh, cPanel, so log into your cPanel in the normal way and come to the back end of cPanel and then scroll down and find your advanced tab with cron jobs. Click on cron jobs and what we're going to do here now is add this command. I'm going to paste that in and it basically is this command here um, which uh, I hope you can you can read and for those of you who are on a shared server web server you may want to use the alt backup dot php command um, otherwise you would simply use backup dot php if you're not on a shared uh, web host um, I'm on a poor man's uh, web service, so I've got uh, I'm sharing my web services, so I use the alt backup, so there's no timeout issues. So once I've pasted that in, I can then say I'm going to do this every five minutes, um, just so that I can run a test for you and add that new cron job. Okay. Once the backup has been uh, completed, uh, we should then see our email which says that uh, the backup has been completed and we can go to the administrator section and download that file. So again, here we can see that the Akiba backup um, has actually uh, been completed and we can then go and download the file. What I'm going to do in the meantime is simply come into my script and edit it and just say that I don't want it taking uh, every five minutes otherwise um, we'd be here all night so I'm just going to do it for the first and the 15th of the month and edit that so that's now changed that. Every five minutes is good just for testing and then if we then come back to our administration here um, I can then look at uh, my backup files and I can see that the backups have indeed been taken. Um, I will have to bring them down, save them in part one, one by one by um, clicking on each one and saying OK I'm going to back those up um, to my hard drive um, and then for security what I'm going to do then is simply delete delete that whole file um, from the site and there's no chance of anyone getting in and uh, taking that uh, file from me. Okay, I hope you found that useful and um, look forward to seeing you once again. Thank you.